Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Glenn and you're watching Pud's Garage. In this episode we're going to be working on some mouldings of rear flares for the GT Forester. So here we've got some, some wide ones. So it's about twice as thick as OEM. These are pretty much two of the flares together. Just a tad wider. So what we're going to do is um, clean these up. Make them nice and smooth. Seal them in with some um, some floor varnish. So when we do the mould, it doesn't grab onto the paint or the filler. And then we can start producing these. If you like what you see, guys, give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe. Um, hopefully by the end of this, we'll be able to produce some of these for you guys. Stay tuned. All right, while I'm waiting... For the PVA to dry, I'm just going to be working on my my wide rear flares. So what I've done here is sucked two together, and then I've chopped the inside one out. So I've got a bit more room for a wheel, as you can see. So what I'm going to do is um. Set it down a bit and fill it in with some of that, that plaster there. I'll have to go get myself some floor varnish to seal it and then um, make a mold of it. Because this is pretty heavy. It's got a bit of body filler in it at the top here. Through there. It's just dirty. Yeah, as you can see, there's body filler. Yeah, something to do while I'm waiting. There we go. Set it down. Got some of that plaster on there. So we're in first to dry. Some crazy weather. Oh. Here it comes. Having like these cold fronts coming through, bringing hail. Had a bit of snow in the the, um, the mountains as well, so it's always good. But as by the looks of it, the plaster's um, dried, so I'm going to give that a good sand back. Right, I've sanded one down, time to move on to the next one, probably just have enough time to do this before I need to go to training, so yeah, let's do that and we'll get some floor varnish so we can seal them up. So once I put the floor varnish on, obviously it's not going to be smooth, so I'm going to be sanding the floor varnish as well to make sure that is smooth. It's just to seal everything in, so um... So like the moulding, like the gel coat doesn't grab onto the paint or the fillers at all. There we go, both arch mouldings have been sanded. Now off to get some floor varnish. Alright guys, I'm about to pull up to Bunnings to get some floor varnish. So I can coat the rear flares. So I can make a mould and produce a fiberglass copy of that plug. We can go wide, buddy, boys. Wide, buddy. Hey guys, picked up some clear timber varnish. Got some turps for clean up. And just some cheap brushes. Let's head back and got this, get this clear coat on. So guys, just got home. About to clear up these um, flares. And I just remembered that I've actually got exterior clear. 
massive one of it. And you guys have probably seen it. Look at that. I've had that sitting there for ages. I'll use that first before I open up this one. So, should be able to do both of them. Yeah. Bit annoyed about that. Oh, oh well. I'll put that up there. Let's use this one on those molds. Okay, so I've cleaned them up. They were dusted before, as you can see. Got the um, exterior clear. They used to paint a door with um, a while ago. If you have checked out my Instagram, that door would probably be my first post, actually. Um, yeah, that was in the Forester. So, yeah, just gonna lacquer these up and uh, let them dry. I forgot to get some gloves, so I can't continue on just yet with the fiberglassing. So I have to pick up some gloves. Um, I'm going to head out to do a records run, which will be coming up. Well, you've already seen it. Stay tuned. So we've just got to wait for that to dry, give it a, a light sand, and uh, we can do, wax it up and PVA release it and get to making it a mold. Mm -hmm. 